What's going on, rock stars? Welcome back to another episode of The 1% Life. I'm your host, peak performance coach and trainer, Joni Dillon. If you hear noises on today's episode, let me you listen to us live on Facebook, listening to me live stream right now on Facebook. You notice that I'm kind of in a different place right now. In fact, I am actually, I'll turn this camera around for you. I'm actually at in Montana, Missoula, Montana, there's our RV, our coach behind us. And um, yeah, I'm out here with my partner. We just headed out. Let's see if I can put this back on uh, now. <laughs> we just, um, we headed out here to Missoula on Friday. We're here for three weeks. And uh, as you can the live chat, let me know who you are and where you're tuning in from. We love to say hello. And if you're listening to us live, let's um, type a hashtag live or a hashtag replay. Rockstar, make sure that you please tag somebody who should be listening to this podcast and share this out. That helps us grow. So we decided to head out to Montana. My partner's training, doing a 12-day training um, for his clients who are actually coming out from all over the world. We even have some international clients coming out here. And I'm going to be co-facilitating or co um what do you call it? Like co-facilitating his training with him and um, for 12 solid days out here, it's going to be like really intense. So that some of you guys don't know this, um, but yeah, we are, we're moving, we're moving out here in three weeks to today. I'm back in Seattle, I think today and getting my house like ripped apart only need to have the movers come a few days later and Pack it all up for us to come out here and we're in our new home on the 27th of August, which is super exciting, really nice birthday to myself. So I'm really pumped and, you know, it's just, it's an exciting thing. The other day we were like, our home is, like we got, we rented this home site and for our land, we're looking for our property and we thought we wanted to be in Montana. And so we're like, okay, let's go check out our new home. And I apologize for the wind if you hear it and, um, and the noise in the background in advance again. So we're like, we, we pop it into the Google map quest and literally you guys, like you leave the RV place, which is like one turn like to get out the, to the front door at, you know, the front gates. And there's this busy road there. Like you literally cross over the busy road to the other side. And it's like a little over a mile down the road just under two miles no turns no no literally no turns and you're out at our new house I'm like, this is kind of crazy like is this real is this happening and yes it is I mean Missoula is not the size of Seattle but it's certainly not that small so that was a pretty fun occurrence and then we just realized one thing after the other was totally perfect we looked at each other we got there and there's this massive u-shaped driveway it's on 4.4 acres of land and, um, and my, one of my biggest criteria was Diego needs a yard. I, my dog doesn't have a yard since we sold my, my old house and, um, and he doesn't have a yard. I live in the city. My dog is like, he's 12, he needs a yard. Well, not only does this have a yard, but it sits on 4.4, almost four and a half acres of land with beautiful mountain views, some of which he probably, but um, actually it's a little bright, so you can't. And it's just stunning. Then we realized there's actually amenities to put the motor coach, this thing that I just showed you, um, Scott's RV plug, and like we've got electricity, there's like sewage stuff, like it's all built in. What? Like how does that even happen? And and then there was like one thing after the other that we kept realizing we didn't actually even get to go into our, our property yet. Hopefully we'll do that before we leave. We haven't seen it yet. And uh, one other thing that was like, how do I get my dog in and out of the car? Scott, you're gonna have to build something because I always have to pull him up to a, a pull the car to a curb for him to jump his, his old 91 year old butt in. Literally, you guys, there's like this perfect driveway with a hedge that I can pull the car right up because it's such a big driveway and the dog literally can just like jump in like onto the seat. It's so perfect. So we're just like, we manifested this house. This house is going to be more perfect and yes it's not us buying our own house yet but it's such a perfect um you know, thing that we're in the process of creating so i wanted to talk to you today about um, high ticket sales and i, I know you, some, some of you have heard the podcast that i did a couple days ago last week my apologies for falling off for a couple days this 
move and this transition down here was a bit crazy. And um, so, so we're back on now. And I did an episode on, I believe it was Wednesday of last week. Yep, yeah, Wednesday on high ticket selling. And then I went on Thursday night and I did a training for my mastermind that I lead that's called the 1%. And in this um, training, I talked more about high ticket sales for my, my coaching clients. And one of the gals in my mastermind, Tara, she says, you know, and I knew this prior to her joining our mastermind a couple, like one, literally it was like 10 days ago before that training. And she was charging, you know, $200 a month to coach with her one-on-one, -on -one, which if y'all know me, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's your personal time. Your clients who get to work with you closer on a more intimate level should always pay way more than, um, you know, and there's different strategies of doing it. And she's been doing great, right? But as she's building this business, she's like, I know I want to be charging more. I just don't know how it's all these questions of, you know, and really when I'm a linguist, so I read in between the lines and I read the words in between the words and the words that are coming out of her mouth. And it came a lot down to not believing that um, she could charge that much, that her clients would pay that much. And really that comes down to self-worth, right? And in, in many aspects, you will ne your network will always equal your self-worth. So if you want to make more, you've got to increase your self-worth. You've heard me talk about this before. And so I apologize in advance, the sun's going behind the trees. Um, so we did this trading and I was like really selling them on why we should be selling high ticket, right? Like why it's a benefit to your customers for you to sell high ticket, why you are actually doing them a huge disservice by selling them something that they're not going to get the full outcome that they want out of, right? How often do we, we go and we want a deal, we want a discount, but is that really the thing that's going to get us to the goal, the desired outcome that you have? you know, for, I believe, no, I believe that it's not. And if you want a discount and you want a deal, then be prepared to spend a lot more in the long run to actually get the outcomes and the goals that you desire for whatever it is, whether it's health or fitness, which is your world, or if it's, you know, coaching, business coaching, sales coaching, whatever it is, like you will pay a lot more and it costs you more again to hold on to that problem than it does to resolve it. And so one of the things that exercises I took them through was getting in touch with what is the value to your customer, right? What is the value to your customer? And because people buy results, they don't buy programs or products, they buy an outcome. Your clients are buying a very specific outcome that you have to be able to show them that they are getting. Let's see if I can scoot this big picnic table back as I'm on this. And, and so the, the thing that we did on, on the call was we got really clear on what are the benefits that your clients get from working with you? What is it doing to their health? What is it doing to them intrinsically and extrinsically? Meaning what are the emotional costs, um, benefits of, of transforming their life, of finally being able to look in the mirror and saying, oh my God, I actually love what I see. I'm, I'm happy with who I am. Where else is that impacting their life? And then on the con contrary side on the converse side is really looking at the cost of holding on to the problem right what is that cost to hold on to the problem and if you decide and the client chooses not to fix it they're deciding they know that they're walking away with the exact same problem they walked in with and that cost over a long-term period of time is really going to cost them a lot you maybe agree and so getting her in touch with what is the cost of them holding on to that problem when you look at then the cost of solving the problem compared to the cost of holding on to the problem, the cost of solving the problem should be a no-brainer. It's like, oh my God, that's it to solve this problem versus holding on to the problem. So literally after she did that, she said, I have a meeting with um, a, a client tomorrow and, you know, it was for her daughter. And so I said, well, you know, you're charging $200 a month for a client, like for a month of working with you and got her really clear on what she does for these clients. I said, what would you like to be charged? She's like, I don't know. And I said, honestly, if I were you, I would charge no less, no less than $5,000. And I was being really conservative based on what she does for these clients and the outcomes that she's able to get for them. And I said, no less than 5K, right? We're talking about their health. We're talking about them avoiding a potential, you know, what do you call it? Gastric bypass someday. We're talking about their, their, their relationships and the cost of that and the impact and the toll of not being able to take their clothes off in front of their significant other, not feeling good about their significant other when they're in the presence of them. You know, like all of these things that come with that problem that her clients have and not feeling good about themselves, not being able to go to a job interview and actually interview with confidence and even apply. Like I've been, I hear these things from people who have these problems and these are real costs of holding onto a problem. Okay. Let me know that you get this. And 
So here's what she said. She's like, I asked her, I said, well, do you believe that you can sell your, your program for $5,000? And she says, I don't know. And I said, well, what would, you, what would it take for you to know that? What belief would you have to hold to believe that? So we started working through all this. She gets off the call. I gave her an exercise to go through 250 benefits of uh, specific benefits of working with her, right? What's the benefit of working with me? What's the benefit of that benefit? What's the benefit of that benefit? She, she then says, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, offer this to my client tomorrow that she decided to meet in person. Meanwhile, she's never had a, a, a phone call with anyone because she's only charging 200 bucks, right? So she's never even got on the phone with anyone. All of her sales have been like transactional, right? Just like they go to a webpage, they purchase. So she actually not only was having not a phone call, but an in-person meeting. You can imagine the, the, <laughs> like the feelings around that. So this is what a rock star she is. And I know that you can do this too. She goes to this meeting. She literally says, when the woman asked, well, how much is it? She said, it's $5,000. And she shut up. The woman took out her checkbook, wrote Tara a check for $5,000 on the spot. No questions asked. Tara was thrilled. You can imagine. And here's the thing that I didn't tell you. Last month in her business, she, she made $5,000, Okay. She was freaking out because it was the, going into the last day of the month. She says, oh my God, I haven't, you know, this was a new, like she wanted this to be the new normal and increase, right? Yet her goal after we talked through it was $250,000 in a year. And when, when I walked her through how, met, how many products she'd have to sell, 1,000, I believe 250 um, different clients in order to make quarter million dollars that year. So how do you think about that number? How do you feel about it? She says, oh my God, it sounds horrible. I want to have a life of freedom. I want to be able to not work 40, 50 hours a week or more. I want to work, you know, 20, 25 hours a week. And I said, well, let, let's look at it. If you increase your price of your, of your programs and your services to 5,000, you have to sell 50 people in an entire year. And that breaks down to just a little over 11 people per month. Right. And that's like, that's 12, uh, excuse me. Did I say that right yet? Yeah, 12 times. Oh, Sorry, four people in a month. That's four people, a little over four people in a month to get to um, 50 people in a year. That's 13 conversations if you're only closing at 30%, right? Like, can you imagine what this does when you increase your average sales price and your average transaction price? A little bit. And, and so she, she was getting it, right? She's like, I'm getting it. And um, really huge. She's never, ever, ever, ever in her two and a half years of having her business made $5,000 from a single client. And here's the best part about it. She's not doing one-on-one -on -one coaching anymore. So now she's doing group coaching, which I believe the clients get a bigger impact when you do group coaching because everybody else um, and their challenges and issues and their, the coaching that they get helps that person also, um, her client release whatever they're going through and shift through that and achieve even greater outcomes. So it's pretty incredible. She now, now she has a leverage program that she's going to be able to fill for $5,000 a seat ahead. And let's say she brings 10 people in over the next two or three weeks. And I'm showing her how to do this. That's $50,000 when she made 25 K last year, right? That's incredible. That's huge. And then you get to rinse and repeat this over again and, um, and, and so on. So why do I tell you this? Number one, some of you who are charging way too little for your programs and your services and your client is not getting the benefit. People who invest, they gain. People who invest transform. They, they're transforming, right? People who pay, pay attention. And I talked about this on the last episode. So if you have not yet heard that episode, definitely go and listen to it. You'll want to hear more about my conversation around high ticket sales in particular and how that can benefit you. Whether you're services or you're selling somebody else's and it's all applicable because guess what you have to do if you're selling someone else's programs or services or products you just gotta sell something bigger sell them the outcome that they came for stop making them take five years ten years fifteen years be frustrated and full of you know frustration and even anger like this thing doesn't work we didn't buy the right thing well you didn't sell them the right thing you did them a huge disservice and are, is everybody going to say yes no not everybody's going to say yes in fact a smaller percentage of people might say yes to those bigger programs however if you don't ask they're not going to buy so if you're not asking somebody to spend 50k 100k or 150k with you will they ever have the opportunity to no the greatest transformation happens when people invest in the highest levels. When was the last time that you spent $20,000 on something and got, you know, and got a massive transformation for like, if you think of, 
your house, you spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on your house, right? More, most likely, right? And not that your house transforms you, but it certainly helps you grow and stretch. So if somebody's spending $200, what kind of transformation are they really getting versus, is it the deep work, right? Is it the, doing the real stuff, the real work that's required? No, I don't believe that it is. And I was thinking back on when I used to sell timeshare and honestly, our happiest customers, our happiest clients were those who spent the most. They were our platinum owners, our presidential reserve owners. They were our owners who owned, had spent hundreds of thousands of dollars were our happiest clients. It was the ones who owned partial ownerships or very, you know, we used to call it partial ownerships, but very small investment into their ownerships that were irritated, pissed off, angry because they never spent the time, the energy to learn how to work their program. And their program really didn't work like they wanted it to. So guys, I wanted to just come on here and give you that example of Tara and, and what's pos possible for you as I'm eating my hair with the wind flying. What's possible for you when you just start believing? See, she, Tara did the work. She's like, okay, I want to do this. I don't know how. Now all she has to do is go and sell 49 more people this program over the next 12 months and she's made a quarter of a million dollars. She made 25,000 last year. That's a big, big increase. Wouldn't you agree? I believe that it is. And you can do this too. So what is it going to take for you to increase your average sales price? And what do you need to believe in order to begin doing that right now? And then what specifically do you need to do to sell yourself on the fact that at that program, that product, that service that you sell and to others is actually transforming and changing their lives. What are the benefits of them having that in their lives? What are the benefits of them going through that program? What are the benefits of them, you know, if it's solar energy work that you do, what are the benefits of, of having to not worry about the cost of the electric bill every single month? What's the benefit of them a, a, being able to tap into this new renewable energy resource? What are the benefits of that? What are the benefits of that? And doing the work to really get congruent with it so you can go out there, have the bigger conversations, increase your self-worth and thereby increase your net worth. Rockstar, I hope you enjoyed this conversation today. If you did, comment below and uh, leave us a, a five-star rating and review. Importantly, um, you know, begin to do the work, begin to, to charge what you're worth and to know that you're doing your clients a huge service when you give them real transformation, when you give them real transformation and when they get uncomfortable, they stretch, they show up and they get results. So I was telling my clients that clients who pay in full get the greatest outcomes, right? And so this client in particular paid in full, right? Almost as much as she made last year. And literally within her first coaching call, within 12 hours of that call, I believe it was 12 hours, maybe 15 of that first call that we talked about her program, she goes out and right away makes back <laughs> a really good amount. And she's it's the best decision she's ever made. So clients who pay, pay attention, know that and know that that's where the people that you want to work with reside. So go back and check out uh, last, uh, the last episode of this podcast on high ticket sales and, um, and please share these out if you got value. All right, rock stars, get out there, be incredible, incredible, incredible. I was gonna say unstoppable and incredible all at the same time. <laughs> You're amazing. And I will see you later. Peace. Missoula, Montana.